Hi everybody, I hope you're having a blessed Wednesday. Isn't this weather just gorgeous? I have been enjoying it. I know it's probably too warm for some, but I have been really enjoying it. So I am about to meet up with my son Isaac, who will be dropped off in a few minutes um, from school. And so I'm not sure how long this will be, but the Lord knows. And so we're gonna pray. Um, but if I have to hang up quickly and um, close this down quickly, that's the reason. So reading in the one year Bible and reading about the sovereignty of God and what really struck me this morning is Ananias and Sapphira and how they lied to the Holy Spirit. And I've heard it before that the church was new and fresh and God needed to send a strong message that um, sin, uh, you know, grieves his heart and the church needs to be pure. But what really impressed me in reading in John um, MacArthur's commentary is were Ananias and Sapphira really saved? And that's that age old question. I mean, you and I both know people that have walked with Jesus, gone to church, read their Bible, been in small group, went forward at a harvest crusade, etc., etc., etc. And we're like, were they ever really saved? Well, John MacArthur breaks it down. He basically says in his conclusion, um, and he uses the scripture for to support, they were saved, but their sin is what caused their immediate death. So I think of like, you know, an alcoholic, somebody that loves Jesus, accepted the Lord, but maybe struggled with drinking and then they died in a car accident. Their sin resulted in immediate death. And it's very similar to Ananias and Sapphira. They lied to the Holy Spirit and then they died. So anyway, I just, I just was kind of geeking out on exploring that idea and that concept. I mean, the secret things belong to the Lord. Some people, we just don't know if they're saved or not. So that's why we have to always pray that the kindness of the Lord would lead to repentance. And so let's just do that right now. Let's just um, jump into prayer. But first we're going to worship Lord Jesus. Holy is your name and you are Lord Jesus and you are holy our father who is in heaven holy is your name thank you god thank you almighty god for being our father in the old testament they would be so um scared as i can't think of another word they were hesitant to say your name yahweh because your name is holy and they never wanted to call you Father. They called you God. They called you Lord. They called you the Lord. They called you God Almighty. They called you Alkanah, Jealous God, Alroy, the God who sees, Jehovah Makedishim, the one who sanctifies, Jehovah Sikhanu, the Lord our righteousness, Emmanuel, God with us. You had lots of names, but Father was not your most prominent name until the New Testament, Jesus. And then you said, pray this way, our Father who is in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us of our trespasses, O God. As we forgive those who have trespassed against us, lead us not into temptation, O God, but deliver us from evil. For yours, God, is the kingdom, and yours, Jesus, is the power, and yours, Holy Spirit, is the dominion forever and ever and ever. Amen. Thank you, God, for revealing yourself to us, sinful man, sinful humans, sinful women, sinful men, and you said, I'm going to reveal myself to you, and I'm going to do it through Jesus Christ, through the Son. So thank you, Father. Um, the disciples said, show us the Father and it will be sufficient. And you, Jesus, replied, how long have you been with me? So we know God. Then we look, when we look at Jesus, we are seeing the Father in the reflection. Just like people say, you're the spitting image of your father. Or you look just like your mom. And even people say in a silly way, you're her mini-me. Or that's my mini-me. Thank you, God, for giving us Jesus to show us what you look like with skin on. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus, for being the lamb who was slain. We worship you. We adore you. Exalt the Lord our God and worship at his feet, for he is holy. God, you are holy. The angels cry out, holy. The angels don't cry out, mercy, mercy, mercy is the Lord God Almighty. He's a merciful God. No, they cry out, holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. And you are a holy God, and we know that we are not holy. We know that we're a messed up people group. But thank you, Father, for the cross. At the cross, at the cross, where my sins were made white, I'm in awe of you. Your blood ran red, and my sins were made white. 
I'm in awe of you, Lord. Thank you for the cross. Thank you for your stripes and your scourging and your beatings and your mistrial, your the betrayal, all of the things that they did to you. We deserved. We deserved that. The nails in your hand, the nails in your feet, they tell us how much you love me. The thorn on your brow, they tell me how you bore much, so much shame to love me. And as the heavens pass away, your scars will still remain. And forever they will say just how much you love me. So I want to say forever my heart, forever my love, forever my life is yours. God, our life is yours. We surrender it to you. We bow down to you. We bow down. We lay our crowns at the feet of Jesus. And we cry, holy, holy, holy. And we worship you. And we adore you. And we want you. We don't just love you, God. We like you. And you don't just love us, God. You like us. Some parents, some children, they grow up knowing that their parents love them. But they don't know if they like them. And we confess that at times we think, do you even like me, God, because of the trials we go through? But we know, Lord, that even a good, good father, an earthly father, disciplines and corrects. So thank you, God, for your discipline. Thank you for your goads, for your rod and your staff that correct us and comfort us. Thank you for being our good shepherd. Thank you for all that you are, for who you are. We confess our sins before you. They are many. Pride, stubbornness, selfishness, um, lying cheating betrayal um we've done so many things god we've lied to the holy spirit we deserve what ananias and sapphira got but you did not give us that you've given us your abundant life and so we thank you god that you forgive us of all of our sins and there are many i only confessed a few but there are many may we just always come to you and say we repent make us clean wash us white as snow lord purge us lord purge away the yuck in our minds purge away the yuck in our hearts any roots of bitterness cut it out lord god help us to be a forgiving people help us to be a god honoring people help us to be holy to be clean to worship you in spirit and in truth lord and Father, we are just so thankful for all that you've done, Lord. We could never approach your throne room without the blood of Jesus. We have your mark, Lord, like the Passover. Put the blood on the doorpost and the angel of death will pass over. We have your mark on us, God. Our names are written in the Lamb's book of life and we say hallelujah. We thank you for that promise. We thank you that one day we'll hear that trumpet. And whether we caught up in the air or we die, of, however we die, we're going to be with you. And we cannot thank you enough for that precious promise that you are the resurrection resurrection in the life God and father I just want to pray for Ali's family as they're grieving and mourning her passing would you comfort them comfort their aching hearts I pray for my friend Molly my beautiful friends the the gal that she's ministering to you know her name you know the trial you know what she's going through Lord I lift her up to you Jesus I pray that you would help us many of us who are praying right now who battle with depression with anxiety with ugly thoughts that you would help us to put that full armor of god and especially the helmet of salvation i pray for my husband as he'll be teaching tomorrow on revelation and i just thank you for this prayer time and all of the prayers we always pray for the prodigals god save their souls save them lord and thank you for this prayer time we love you thank you for isaac coming home safe in jesus name amen god bless you guys